sorting the peaches. Okay. Just stacking them up so that they could uh, be carried without toppling over. Yeah, they look great, don't they? Hmm. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, I want to talk about our orchard that we started at our homestead when we first uh, started building this place. In fact, these trees were bought as bare root trees, which pretty much just look like a stick that you buy from a place that has like some tiny minuscule roots in the bottom and really nothing for leaves. This looks a lot more alive than these things uh, looked when they arrived. And we actually started all these before this house here was even built. We started them in pots at the place we were living at while we did the building and then transplanted them and we set them out all here. Now we've got apples and we've got plums and we've got um, well peach trees here is what we're harvesting right now. And I wanted to talk a little bit about um, doing things when you really don't have any real clear clue what you're doing and you don't really have any right to be doing it. I don't really know what we're doing when it comes to an orchard. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I know in theory it's been proven by a lot of people <laughs> to work, but I don't have any expertise in it. I don't have any training in it. I don't really have any knowledge or wisdom other than what I've gathered through years of learning from other people in my own trial and error. And this year is no different. We've got a pretty good peach harvest. This is what we've got right here. And this includes a bunch of peaches that uh, were stolen by uh, various animals. We got raided by raccoons last night and that's why we're actually pulling all the peaches off the trees now because we can throw these things even though they could they could ripen up a little bit more on the tree if we wanted to let them. But um, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to uh, you know take them inside so they don't get stolen by the raccoons. Uh, so we're going through and we're pulling all the peaches off and also we're really going to hack these trees down. Uh, Amber's grabbing the last of the peaches off of this and the, all of these trees they were a good maybe 50% taller than they are right now earlier and I think one of the mistakes that I made when we put these in is I was so eager to just let them grow and grow I was not, I wasn't pruning uh, them enough and not pruning trees enough uh, you know can have lots of problems with um, uh, yield uh, and also in particular these trees they had gotten some kind of a fungal disease and you can see some little uh, evidences of it here like uh, this thing here it's got these dried up kind of desiccated leaves here uh, the the stems they've got like this kind of boily kind of surface to them uh, they, had, they developed some kind of a fungal disease and I was not aggressive enough about treating it the past couple years. Now we did get a lot of peaches despite uh, they started growing this year and they, the foliage grew out all like mutated I think is probably the best word that I could use to describe it and then after that it kind of fell off but we still get uh, we still did get a lot of peaches. Here's one of the last ones up here it's being enjoyed by some wasps and fruit flies and different things up in there. Um, but this year what I want to do I want to learn from my mistake and we're really going to hack these things down to the point where they, they look pretty awful. Well, I, I, I want to just take them down, get all the little side branches off. And the reason that I decided I wanted to do that was because of an experience I had with my plum trees, which I also should have pruned a lot more. Plum trees are right up here by the chicken coops. These things were massive. We planted them at the same time as the other trees over there. Uh, but this, this is a, a trunk from one of those trees. Now this is, it's amazing to me, just a few years ago, like maybe five years ago or something like that, this thing just used to be a little twig and it's grown into this huge, huge plum tree. And this thing was even bigger earlier. In fact, it was so big that the branches just got overweighted and they cracked under their own weight. A bunch of these branches ended up cracking and I really hacked this tree down because it was being destroyed by its own weight. And then I saw this happening. All this fresh growth in here. All these are fresh leaves coming out. And it got me thinking that it would be a really good idea to take these peach trees that we've got just down over here and kind of do the same thing while there's still some summer left for them to really recover. So what I'm going to be doing with these peach trees is the same thing as I did that. Just hack them down and I, I don't care how they look. If they, if they look healthy and if they look like they're doing good, it means I haven't hacked them down enough. And <laughs> Um, you know, plants oftentimes just kind of like being abused a bit. Like you really just get them down to nothing and then that gives them a fresh uh, burst of vigor to, to grow out and have some new uh, leaves on them. And also what I really want to do is 
It's hard to spray down an entire tree with all the branches with the fungicide. It's a kind of a copper-based fungicide that we've been using. Uh, so that's the other thing I want to do is just chop them down to practically nothing. So they're just these kind of dead sticks here and then hit that with the fungicide because it'd be really easy to cover the, the, all of that with the fungicide. And I think that that's going to help us. But the main point of this video is that even if you don't know 100% about something, even if you're not an expert about something, even if there are lots of blind spots and lots of uh, you know, opportunities for you to learn new things about some kind of a topic. One of the best ways that you can learn about that topic is just by jumping in and doing it. And that doesn't apply to everything. If one of your uh, relatives needs open heart surgery, I'm not suggesting that, you know, you just grab out your kitchen knife and, <laughs> and have at them. But there are some things in life that you really can just jump into. And really one of the best ways of learning is just by doing and making those mistakes and, and learning from them that way. You know, you can go to schools and you can pay, you know, thousands of dollars for courses and all that kind of stuff it's oftentimes just cheaper to make the mistake and learn from the mistake. Again, not everything's like that, but orchards, I think, are one of those things. So every year we get a little bit better, and the amount of money that I spent on these trees, I think I spent like 20 bucks per tree. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six trees, and just in the first, what's that, 20, 20, it's like about 120 bucks, and this is just one, one season worth of food. Now, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily $120 worth of peaches, but it's not going to take as many years to completely make our money back and then just have free peaches, free peaches, free peaches, free, free apples, free plums, free everything. I love orchards because you plant them once and then they just kind of do their thing. And, you know, you got to manage them a little bit. And I've been talking about that in this video, like the different things that we've uh, been kind of trying to do to manage them. But it's a really great way to garden because, it, you know, you, you don't have to be so crazy about weeding. And uh, I think I've exhausted everything that I really need to say in this video. Get out there and try stuff. It's a great way of learning. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video, here's another that I think you might like. But before you click on it, I wanted to take a moment to thank all the people you see on the right hand side of your screen. They help to support all the work that I do here over at patreon.com. If you'd like to join them and get your name added to the list, the link's below.